Hi everybody, today is Sunday, uh, approximately 8 o'clock and today I thought we will go over again my portfolio because uh, I've been putting some money in it and as you, as you remember uh, my goal is to have right now my intermediate goal is to have $40,000 I've been invested in the fundraise but before I do I would ask you to subscribe to, uh, to my channel uh, it's gonna give you a chance to become a part of our fundraise community and I just looked at my statistical data and I noticed that 90% of you even though you watch my videos but you do not become my subscribers now it is your chance because I'm making I make videos about the fundraise every single week typically during the weekend and you you will see that how my, my portfolio will grow over time and hopefully it's going to encourage you to start uh, investing and it can be the fundraise or or it can be uh investing in the stock market uh, or any other alternative investment at least it's going to give you motivation to start doing something too so I would appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel and do and do it now before you will forget. Thank you so much in advance. So let's come back to my portfolio. Uh, let's look at the transactions here. And you can see that there is a pending trans, uh, transaction expected complete September 20, 22nd. And I made my investment in the amount of uh, uh, over $1,000, $1,250. And uh, when you add this money, my portfolio is going to is gonna be $39,000 and plus some pocket change. $39,000. And as you remember, I told you even a couple of minutes ago, my goal was to have my portfolio at forty thousand dollars my intermediate goal and I, I thought actually i was going to achieve my goal about like a month ago a month ago i said well uh, i'm gonna have some money coming in and and this is going to be easier for me to achieve unfortunately i was wrong well i took my my car to the mechanic and the car maintenance car insurance uh the, then there is a car sticker you need to pay to, to, to the city and all those expenses came out to be i think it was like if you would just count all of them and add all of them there would be fifteen hundred dollars or, or even more than that I haven't counted so uh, you would imagine if instead of paying for my car maintenance and changing my tires and paying my car insurance and and for the city sticker car sticker uh, I would have invested this money into my fundraise portfolio. I would be over forty thousand dollars right now, but unfortunately, this is not the case. And uh, you expect emergency um, emergency expenses to come up out of nowhere, uh, like I had encounter when the mechanic told me I need to change my tires and, every and do everything else. I didn't expect that. I was going to change my oil only. But uh, what can you do, you know? What can you do? Um, so, uh, and um, let's see here. When um, let's let's look at my portfolio again. Income e rate. I have uh, approximately seventy six point five per all of my money go to my income e rate per, per uh, income e rate section of portfolio and let's look at the dividend yield there because as i noticed last week uh it was slowly decreasing yeah it still stays the same this week is 6.97 it's the only eerie that i'm investing right now and uh the, there was something else here that i wanted to show you about notification you click on the notification Bill, and there was a progress update. Construction moving forward on New Jersey apartments. Uh, after getting off to a slow start, construction has made considering progress over the past several months. 
with the first units expected to deliver next spring. Uh -huh. It says here in August to, to 2018 we invested roughly 38 million in the construction of Walcott, Ekensek, 235 unit apartment community in New Jersey, located about eight miles west of Manhattan. And of course, uh, you know, because of the crisis that we had, that New York took a very, a very big hit. And uh, and they're still doing well, you know, they're, they're still doing well. That's what makes me happy. What makes me happy the most about fundraiser is that they give me updates on the regular basis, me and other investors. All you need to do is just click here. Hold on a second. On the notification bell, it appears right on the right side, uh, right next to your name. And uh, all those progress updates will be given to, to, to you. And there was even before this, remember we looked, I think we looked at this before. Progress update, Denver apartments making headway despite pandemic delays. Mm -hmm. Um, so far I didn't feel the need to invest in other e-reads. One of the reasons, because if you look at the, uh, there are actually two reasons why. The first reason is that sometimes those reads are simply closed. You cannot make a direct investment in them. So I only make direct investments when it comes to fundraise. And the second reason being that uh, even if they allow you to make a direct investment, the yield, the dividend yield is kind of low. So this one, income year rate, allows you to make a direct investment. But let's look, 4.99%. Well, of course, 4.99% occurring dividend yield. It's much better than nothing. And I know that objective is a cash flow. But why would I need to invest in this read where I have the income read that's currently yielding 6.97%? So that's why that's much better. So that's why I've been putting my money here. But actually, to you know diversify the portfolio, you would need to distribute the money, I think, equally among some, some highest yielding income E-reads, E-reads, you know, it's for the diversification purpose. But uh, right now, uh, and actually my main goal and my main objective, even for creating this channel, uh, is to have $2,000 of passive income every single month. And uh, in October, in the beginning of October, uh, we will get the dividend uh, payment from the fundraise quarterly dividend payment and i will make another video and tell you uh how much i have gotten now over uh, the amount of money that i have now is to, uh, it's basically thirty nine thousand dollars and of that my dividend overnight overnight dividend yield comes out to be approximately six dollars and forty cents six dollars and fifty cents it depends on the day every day is not the same but approximately just a little bit over six dollars uh that's what i get and this is good let's just say that i'm getting six dollars every single day uh, let's not count the change just six bucks and times 30. it comes out to be 180 dollars not not bad considering that i have only $39,000 here. So if you look at my previous video, even from the last week, I had less than $39,000. It makes me happy. Why? Because I'm approaching my $40,000 mark. Now, once this uh, transaction here is going to be completed it's going to be on september 22nd which is going to be tuesday right yeah approximately that's not going to be yeah it's going to be tuesday uh 22nd so on 23rd i will get even more dividend payment overnight it's going to be maybe six dollars and fifty some cents but we will see 
And I, I just wanted to point out again, uh, look at the uh, uh, beautiful constructions that they're making. They, this is how it's going to look. Like it's in, I think it's... I mean, in this building, you would want to live you, you, yourself. You know, if somebody would offer you an apartment there, you would say, oh my God, this is good. This is some good living. It's in New Jersey and right next to Manhattan area, New York. Uh, good, great location, great construction. Uh, something beautiful is going to come out of it. I mean, de definitely. And then the previous, like, let's look at the building. Wow. Th that's uh, th that's going to be a beautiful building too. They almost finished with that building. You see, you see how beautiful it is. So I'm very happy with the projects they are doing and uh, and the construction and er everything else. Um, on that note, again, I would ask you to subscribe uh, to my channel, become a part of the fundraise community. You see, there is a value. I think there is uh, some kind of value that I'm making in all those videos, even for you, uh, because hopefully, when you look at my portfolio and your current situation is going to give you some kind of motivation to start investing in something. Consult a financial advisor. I'm not a financial advisor. I, I do. In fact, I don't really know much about the real estate. But uh, I'm, I'm telling you, you know, I mean, uh, it's like uh, you just need to make a first small step. If you don't feel comfortable investing in fundraise, that's fine. I mean, the, you have... You may have your own reasons why you want to be doing that. So you might want to consider investing in the stock market or doing something else on the side. Uh, maybe some of you decide to purchase physical property and uh, renovate it or, or flip houses or or purchase some property that you're going to be rent out. Uh, no matter what, but at least uh, you're going to be making some small step. Even if it's a small step at first, the step is gonna uh, grow, is gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So it, it just all starts uh, with a small one small step. On that note, on that positive note, I would like to leave you again. Subscribe to my channel uh, so I can see you again next week. And uh, thank you so much uh, for coming. Bye.